So today, like many of you, I woke up at 7 a.m. to try to get the UNC Jordan 4. And although I've been telling you guys that I've had a lot of success on the sneakers app recently, I have had my fair share of L's, including today. Regardless, I really wanted this shoe for my personal collection, so I tried my hardest to try to get this shoe for retail from every store. I entered every raffle I could, but we still came up short. But what do you do when you can't get a shoe for retail? You do have to pay resale price. So that's what we're doing today. All we got to do is make a quick phone call and make sure the plug has the pair. Hello? Yeah, you got the UNC Jordan 4s? What's good, bro? Yeah, I got you. What size? Size 10, of course. Yeah, pull up, bro. I got you. All right, I'm on my way, say less. up to Swish Studios here at the Irvine Spectrum. We were here a few days ago. I know we pulled up a little late, but hopefully that's not a problem. Bruh. Is anybody in there? It looks like it's closed. Hello? Bro, they got my shoes in there and they're closed. I think we're stuck, man. She already found something. We haven't even been in here for five seconds. We were here like a couple days ago. That's your phone. Oh, you're looking at those. That's your phone. You're hella happy. Wow, how did this turn? It always turns into a shopping video for you. We came for me, we leave for her. What? Women's size. <laughs> it is? Oh, perfect. Say less. Bye, guys. Eight yeah. and a half women's. You know, oh, yeah. She did want these. We took the L and they just restocked and these And I on freaking football. entered so many raffles. You wow, guys. this is a good colorway. Look Let me see. They oh are. my god, that's nasty. No. Oh my god, look. Oh, Damn, these are so, so clean. This is like a size what? This is huge. 11? This is an 11 or 11 and a half. Wow, the inside is nice. Look at this. this is like triple it's padding. So cute. I need these. Those are fire. And I don't even like pink shoes. Like I said earlier that I didn't like the pink laces in my Travis Scott's, but for some reason this just works. Guys, they have another one in the glass. It's today my lucky day. Oh. Bro, had see what we got. Don't say seven. Don't say seven. Don't say seven. Oh, it looks smaller than four and a half. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but it does look good in the base size though. I'm not gonna it lie. Does. It looks so good. Like that looks huge. Like that's too big. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, can we talk about the best display ever? The McDonald's bag with the Travis Scott's inside. Did you do that? You know, man. <laughs> look at that. The creative director of the display. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Like we were here a few days ago and there's already like different things. Completely yeah. different things than there was the other day. Oh god. These are so fire. Oh my god. I wish I recorded you when you were roasting them when saying did roast them? you did you said they're trash bro look at you sh you literally pulled this up and you're like look at this these are the, trash no, I showed you the yellow no one. you're like no. these are so ugly I don't know what Yeezy's yeah. doing I showed you the yellow ones these ones are fire yeah it's an 11 but guess what I already ordered a pair <gasps> I told you I ordered something off goat <laughs> it was these said you taking those home you already trying them on all right guys so this is the shoe we came for open it up Wow, look how beautiful this shoe is, man. Look at that little flap right there. It's a little different than what you see on Jordan 4s, but I like it. It goes back to the old school days when Nike would make the jerseys with the little tags right there on the corner. So that's what they were trying to show there. And uh, I'm honestly going to keep it on. A lot of people said they're going to cut it off, but I think I'm going to keep it on. But yeah, UNC Jordan 4s. Shout out to Swish Studios for holding me down on release date because I couldn't get them anywhere else. Now we just need to yeah, add my ba my box yeah, right box here. Then? Another pair of dunks added to Mina's collection. Hell yeah. So you should be right. happy I have a good collection. Yeah, you have a solid collection. It's not better than mine though. You tripping. Hello? We 
are back in the studio right now. We're gonna be talking about these Jordan 4s that we just picked up from Swish Studios. I already did like a little bit of an unboxing, so we're just gonna get right into it. I don't know how much I gotta praise this shoe, man. This is a really good sneaker. Now I know that when most people click on a video like this, they wanna know whether or not they think this shoe is worth them paying resell price because chances are like I said earlier we took an L buying them for retail so now you're debating whether or not this is going to be worth your hard-earned money. I honestly think that this shoe right now is worth the price that they're going for. I'm not going to sit here and predict whether or not I think it's going to go up in price or down in price but I think that at the value that they're going for right now if you're thinking about getting this shoe I would say just go do it because it's one of those shoes where when you do get them in hand, you're not gonna be disappointed. I do wanna bring out a few other shoes to compare this shoe to and some of them aren't even Jordan 4s. It's just more about the quality and colorway. But the first one I wanna bring out is the University Blue Jordan 1s that recently came out because this shoe right here had a lot of quality control issues. If I was paying resale for this shoe and I got them in hand and I saw the glue stains, I would be so pissed off. With this shoe, I don't think that's an issue. I I haven't seen anybody complain about the quality control. My pair is damn near perfect. So I know that me paying resale for the shoe, I'm gonna end up being satisfied because I know that there's no issues on it like there was for this right here. Other than that, I think the shoe is a heavy hitter. I think it's gonna be a great shoe and it could potentially be one of the best shoe releases of the year. And I gotta give a huge round of applause to Jordan Brand because they've been having a great year from the Raging Bulls to these, to the ones, to the trophy rooms. I shouldn't have mentioned the trophy rooms. I, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, Jordan Brand has just been killing it this whole year and we're only four or five months in. So I'm excited for the rest of 2021. Next up is the Travis Scott sixes, which I'm looking for and the Fragment Jordan ones, which I'm waiting for. So the Fragment Travis Jordan ones, which I'm waiting for. So. Hopefully I'll be making a video on those for you guys very soon. Oh, one more shoe that I wanted to bust out for a little bit of a comparison. The shoe that this reminds me of a little bit, Travis Scott Jordan 4s. Just because of the baby blue upper, obviously. Yeah, man, oh, it's very similar, but then it's also very different. This shoe is great. Again, shout out to Swish Studios for holding me down when nobody else could. And, and, hold on, go follow me on Instagram because I'm probably gonna go post a picture wearing these. So if you wanna see what they look like on, go follow me. Link is down below. All right, a little announcement before we wrap up today's episode. Talked about this on my Instagram, but I haven't announced this on my YouTube channel yet. But I'm doing my first event, my first sneaker event in over a year on June 5th in Orlando at the Orlando Sneaker Convention. I'm super excited because I miss going to these events. I'm gonna be hosting the event, so I'll be on stage majority of the time, but I still will be out there meeting some of you guys that are gonna be there and just interacting and having a good time and hopefully buying some more sneakers. So guys, hopefully I see you guys there. It's gonna be June 5th, like I said, in Orlando. But yeah, other than that, we got the shoes, we made the video. See you guys on the, oh, Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I almost forgot to say that the whole video, so there you go.